What is up guys, it is Nick, we are back, and welcome to the first episode of the edited gameplay. So, this will include cuts and skips, and yeah, it's just gonna make the episode a little bit better, a little bit more higher quality, and so let's get into it. So we need to talk to Bobby Lauren, get this episode kicked off. It's been a really long time since I've been on this character. This is... I have no idea what this is. How long do you plan on accusing us? I'm not being blindly stubborn. This is an insult to the Grand Chamberlain, Tito, and myself. In addition to being accused of oppressing Heidel, I am being framed with this fake document. Isn't this too much? Bobby Lauren is trying to escape again. I believe he has enough money to pay us back. Was exploiting the villagers not enough, going on to brutally suppress the revolutionaries like that. Do you really think you have the right to pretend to be innocent little lambs in front of Calfian? I am not oppressing the people. The taxes are legitimate. Since when did Calfian become an apostle of justice? If this is not considered exploitation, then neither is Heidel's tribute to Calfion. The people of Serendia should be at, would be outraged if they saw this. There will be an uprising in the whole region, and Heidel will be thrown into great confusion. I told you, that document is being used to frame me. If you intend to threaten me with such nonsense, give up now before you embarrass yourself. The villagers' uprising will have already occur oh, oh, oh my gosh, occurred by the time we determine whether this document is false or not. Ah, that naive Bobby Lauren. Grand Chamberlain deserves our utmost loyalty. I hope he recognizes my devotion someday. Um, alright, Isabel. Bobby Lauren will have to confess once you show the document. I intend to teach them a lesson for underestimating the Jean League. But first, I, Isabel and Kurosho, wish to thank you for your work. You've been great help, of great help to us. There's something I need you to do, but but not worry about Bobby Lauren. Uh, I will handle him from here on out. Povius will provide you with the more details on your new assignment. I hope you don't think that we're done here. Your real work begins now. Work hard as your reputation grows, so will the treatment you receive from the people of Calfion. I bid you good luck, member of the Jean League. Povius, hey buddy, you've done well when it came to handling the rebels. Don't for a second think that was anything worth bragging about, though. Do you know where the Southern Gateway is? It is an important trading area for Calfian and Serendia. The wagon that passes through here carry black energy extracted from the extraction mill and trade goods from the farm in Southern Heidel. Of course, our wagons are also passed through here with goods and intel from Heidel. We've heard reports that the wagons here have been recently have been under attack, getting ambushed as they pass by. It's all because of these dirty, slimy creatures. The problem is that the situation is getting worse. Head down south to the town of Glish to learn more. I'm going ahead, uh, but you make sure to come as soon as you finish your business here. Don't be late. If the logistics don't arrive in time, you'll incur Delphed Castilian's wrath. Okay, so now we need to head to Glish. Um, I'm going to take a quick look. Actually, eh, it's only 10 seconds. It doesn't really matter. Um, take a look at my skills real quick because, like I said, I haven't been on this character, so I don't actually remember. So we have Moon Dance. Let me take out. Let's take that out. Okay, so we have this. Let's see. We have our dash, dash move. Eh, that's not bad. Okay, so right triggers. Let's see. So right trigger does this. Back right trigger does an upper slash. Back right bumper. Ooh, okay. It's back right bumper is back right bumper is all I need to clear this stuff. Uh, what is this? This is just kind of a dodge step back. Okay. Back right bumper is there. Back right bumper. I want fear. Oh, hold on. This is learnable. Here we go. Learnable. I want to unlock fear. Ooh, that's 15 skill points. E. Um, do I want pendulum kick? Nimbus stride flow. Nimbus stride two. I'm going to grab Nimbus stride two and then the flow of Nimbus stride. I don't really need... Oh, here we go. Definitely got to grab that. I don't think I need the passives just yet. I don't think they're hugely key. I'm going to grab Pendulum Kick, though. Okay, but that is going to do it. Not do it, but... Um, 
this will be our first cut, isn't it? It's kind of exciting, isn't it? That you guys don't have to sit here and watch me run. So, here's the cut. And we're back! We're back here with Povius and Galish. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not even going to play up the edit thing forever. But it is nice to edit out some of the running. Um, it gives me a chance, you know, get a drink um, and whatnot. Just take a break from talking for a half second. You're late, you lazy ass. This is the reason why I'm still here. You should know what has been plaguing the village as of late, if only to understand why our wagons aren't being protected. Listen up. I'll tell you since it's your first time here. We're not a... We are not well liked here. If you're expecting hospitality, you'll be disappointed. Now get a move on. I need to investigate the surrounding area. I even messed up my first edit, so you, it, you guys won't be able to notice. But instead of just recording all the way through, I was like, "Oh, I can just pause this." And uh, so now I'm making like three different video files instead of just one. That would have been the easy thing: is just have one video file and edit it, edit stuff out. <laughs> I see that you have come from afar to this village, and what brings you here? We're already struggling more than usual due to the lack of fresh water. Please leave us leave if your presence would only encumber us further. Hmm. Ah, you're referring to the wagons from the Jean League. I've heard several reports that the wagons have been attacked. I assure you that Serendia had nothing to do with these attacks. Did you see those creatures in the swamp on your way here? They are called the Nagas and the Foggins, and I'm pretty sure they were behind the attacks. It's also why we're suffering from this water shortage. I hope you can help us. I don't think there is anything more I can tell you. Incidents that we go through are All right, back to Povius. All right, Povius, how many of these do you want me to kill? You're late, newcomer. Were you able to survey the area thoroughly? I guess. A small and helpless village like this wouldn't dream of attacking one of our wagons. Villagers reported that the Nagas and Falcons have been fighting over territory. It's so logical they would have attacked the wagon headed to the Trina Knights for military supplies. Don't you agree? Don't let their looks fool you. Falcons and Nagas are intelligent and even capable of using magic. Did you say that Glish has a shortage of drinking water because of those things? We should go and take care of the problem with the Nagas and Falcons. We can reclaim the lost military supplies and get a reward for it. Why get a reward for reclaiming our own goods? Hey, newcomer, we aren't a charity. If we take care of the Foggins and Nagas, we'd naturally be taking care of the drinking water shortage in this village as well. If that's the case, then we should ask for a fair price. That's what a merchant would do. Use your head. The guard commander of this village is the one they call Caesar. Go negotiate with him. Again, you are now part of the Jean Merchant League. Okay. Makes me think of Fallout. Render unders to... Or the... Well, I mean, that's not... It's not a Fallout thing, but the quest. Render under Caesar, what is Caesar? And render under God, what is God? But that second part, that's just the saying. Um, but yeah, that that the guy the guy in Fallout New Vegas is the, one of the leaders of Caesar. Okay, that's the point of what I was trying to say. Will you deal with the fog and, and Naga nearby? What's the catch? Uh, I've never known the Jean merchants to act on goodwill alone. It's more sensible to think that you're... Think your assistance means that guild has something to gain when you say surely they will have demands they'll eventually cash in on we have this under control so you may be on your way bounty list for job i'll grab that offer to kill foggins for the offer i just want will you give me silver okay will you give me loyalty okay how about just safeguarding is that really all you want so you're saying we should promise to protect the Jean Merchant trade wagons in exchange for mediations between the Nagas and Foggins nearby? Considering we're low on drinking water, I guess we don't have a choice. Is there nothing we can do against the Jean Merchants? Maul the Neglector of Foggins. Good. Now listen carefully. The Nagas and Foggins are fighting over both the northern and southern territories of town. The Nagas come first and took over the swamplands, but the Foggins just came in one day and drove them out. Their numbers grow by the day, and our and our patrol routes are out of control in the swamplands. We were better off with the Nagas at this point. The Foggins reproduce faster than we can deal with, and those bastards are practically born ready to fight. If you travel south, you will find the southern guard camp charged with dealing with the Foggins. Talk to Maul, the captain of the camp. Although they were supposed to reduce the number of Falcons, Captain Maul has been negligent in dealing with them. Feel free to ask him when you see him. It's not that far from here. We are not robbing them of their home. The swamps were originally rich, fertile lands of Galish. 
Okay. Time to go. Where is this? All right, here, here we go. I'm going to stop acting like it's some crazy thing every time I jump cut. Um, but we'll have a little bit of fun with it in the first episode here. Let's grab that from him. Okay, that's a really weird quest. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to stop acting like jump cutting is like the special thing that only I, that that's but i don't know it's fun i don't usually edit my videos so now that i'm taking time to edit them it's kind of fun um but yeah i'll catch you guys over at cool i'll catch you guys over at the guard camp all right here we go into the southern guard camp talk to maul what is a merchant doing way out here is there anything i can help you with hi i'm maul the captain of this camp are you trying to get rid of the Foggins? Why? We might befriend them someday. I see you look confused. Did you know the Foggins have their own language? If we learned, if we were to learn that language, wouldn't we be able to bargain with them? You think like that because you haven't seen the Foggins yet. Anyhow, we cannot attack the Foggins. Recklessly fighting. It's more really? important to understand the language of the Foggins. Um, so, with these being edited... I will say this. With these being edited, the episodes will be shorter, as you can see. They'll probably be anywhere from 12 to 20 minutes. I mean, 20 minutes is, is the absolute max. I don't really want to do 20 minutes, but 20 minutes is, is a possibility. All right, Black Spirit. Look at this camp. Seems like it'll collapse if we decide to attack now. Hee hee hee. Grab the gift. Let's see. And I don't care about that. Uh, this is not good. Not good at all. No chance of being reckless without approval from a guard post. What a childish captain. No wonder the Foggins were able to re begin reproducing. Well, since that shy kid is interested in the Foggin language, why don't we bring back a stray Foggin as a present? Hee hee hee. Grab that. Okay. So we need to lure one of the Foggins in here. This is one of this, this thing. This annoys me. Um, this is a gigantic like waste of time because not only you got to walk like really slow so that the fog in can follow you because it's really slow it's just a it's just a weird it's just a weird quest let's be honest about what it is it's a weird quest he probably can't climb so i'm gonna walk to here and if you get too far away oh look he can just he just ignores it completely like it does doesn't even exist there he just walks straight through it all right buddy let's go get up here come on foggin you can do it you're so close there we go put the foggin in the prison all right mole that's amazing. Why didn't I think of that? Now to studying the that Foggin and its language. Hmm. Great. Now dispose of the remaining Foggins as you please. I'll see. Th I'll see to it that my superiors receive the proper reporting. I'm going over to that Foggin now. So I want to grab this as well and that. All right. So now we can finally go and murder the Foggins. Where does it want me to go? Well, okay, that's fine. Let's see. So first of all, we have to. Oh, hold on. We got better. We got better gear. I, I forgot. I didn't. I bought better weapon. I bought a better singular weapon on this character, but I did not buy better gear. So grab that. Oh, that put our attack to 83. It's 31 defense. 39. Is this actually better? Uh, it's better. Instead of nine attack, it does. Yeah, I'd rather have the nine attack. We actually have some... We have a $10 million gold bar on this character. Why do I have that on this character? This character has some interesting stuff on it that I didn't actually know it had. This is a lot of weird stuff. Why does it have all this stuff? And I kind of wish that I had... I don't have my experience potions. And I know there's not... Where is the closest... Where's the closest central market? really far away well time for another jump cut i'm gonna go grab some um of my exp potions sell some of this stuff put it in the bank and i uh, will be right back 
All right, here we go. Time to murder some swamp foggins. Um, actually, I should probably show this before we get too involved into this. Uh, let me let me Nimbus stride back up here. I went ahead and upgraded the gear. So we have the ultimate Korea Crescent Pendulum now, 85 to 91, and I also picked up the ultimate Crown Noble Sword. Uh, this is pry and this is duo um i actually am going to take the gear off of my main character because i'm not playing on my sorcerers right now so we're going to take all this and put it on this character uh but either that or my um dark knight i haven't quite figured out which one i want to put it on um, i need to put this on and this on all right let's get going Let's let's slaughter some Foggins and rank up really quick. Look at that, look at that. That was 5% experience. I killed like three dudes. We're so early in the game, that's just like absolute slaughterhouse. You don't even have to like do anything special here. Like, you don't have to clear all the mobs, because there's so many Foggins. There are so many Foggins. It's not even... It's like a joke. Hello, Lula. Do you have a quest for me related to killing Foggins? No. I don't really want to mess with that. Oh, a violent swap Foggin warrior. You kind of gave me some garbage, dude. That was some. That was some garbage for a violent enemy. I need to figure out my best my best movement on this character because really compared to like Dark Knight I haven't played much on this character I played a lot of Dark Knight I mean I'm level 51 on Dark Knight I'm only 23 on here I mean I know we're similar episodes but man have I played a lot more Dark Knight I don't even think this is this isn't even one of the good spots to farm Need to destroy these. This. This is kind of well. This is like decent, but this is like not good enough, in my opinion. Like I, in my opinion, there are a lot better areas to farm Foggins and Nagas, but this will work for now. We'll try to get to at least 25 in this episode. There's a defense. There we go. So there's that completed. We need to just kill big swamp foggins. I've killed four big ones? Like, How big are the big ones? I don't even remember how... Where the... Oh, there's a big swamp foggin. Okay, so they're not big, like, size-wise. They're just big... They're... They're... They're thick. There's some thick foggins. Oh, look, I improved my knowledge of thorn tentacles. That. All right, let's head back this way. There's got to be some... Yeah, I see one big one over here. Man, I just love this character so much, like, um, combat on this character. I'm out. I think this character will be really good for end game farming. It's all right for like this farming where I one shot everything, but when you one shot everything, like the best attacks are the ones that quickly move you from one mob to the other. In like a really fast, in a really, uh, really fast motion, I guess. That's probably not the right word I want. But a really fast, um, at a really fast rate, I guess that's what I'm, the word I'm looking for. Because 
then you're one like you're one shotting everything, so you don't need to be doing combos to absolutely destroy stuff. So my point is is that I think that this character is good now, like I enjoy this character, but I think I'll really enjoy it when I have to when I have to um actually deal significant damage to enemies. Because right now it's just kind of, it's kind of, yeah, we get stuff done, but it's kind of whatever. Let's see here, we did get to 25, we're almost 26. This is like, probably my favorite spot to farm. It's up there with the catfishmen. If the catfishmen respawned a little bit quicker, it'd probably be, oops, that's not what I want to do. It'd probably be the catfishmen, but the catfishmen don't respawn all that quickly, so... This a, wow, that was a violent... <laughs> what? That was a violent uh, thorn tentacle. That was really odd. Kill him. Alright, so I think... Let's see here. Get back up here. Oh, I don't want... I don't want... What? I don't want to shot the... I don't want to shot the crab? Okay. Let's pull this out. Hee hee hee, even the Foggins are mere ants to us. We're doing great. See, we're getting stronger. Uh, let's see. Retrieve the train of night supplies. Come to think of it, you haven't forgotten your duties have and gone on some crusade for justice, right? We need to find the trade goods for the Jean merchants, remember? Hee hee hee. Don't you remember we were here to find them? Yes, you remember now. The task the big giant gave us. Start hacking and get those items back. None of this. Okay. Let's see, so we need to kill more Foggins. Pretty much just slaughter more Foggins down here. I mean, her movement speed is quick. The, the Dark Knight, oh my gosh, that thing drives me insane because it is so slow. And if you're running when you hit right trigger with this character, it does kind of... Um, it does a more dash attach, a attach, attack into the group's enemies. So that's the good thing. Come here. Stop running away. Ah, whatever. We'll rotate this way. We'll come back to those guys later. No, it's not doing my dash attack. So we need to we need to we need to be killing. Well, actually, I want to get the regular Foggins out of the way so that they disappear off the map, so that I can just see the big ones and the storytellers. I haven't seen like any storytellers. Is this a story? No, it's just a regular Foggin. So I still need to kill big Swamp Foggins. Let's get them out of the way. Let's go... I know I'm skipping some enemies, but I want to get these out of the way so I can start seeing the Fortune Tellers. Because I'm not seeing any. I gotta go to a different area, because... There's, like, none here! Look at this, there's, like, none here. Look at how many enemies there are, and there's just there's just no fortune tellers. Might have to go. Come here. All right, let's see here. Let's head over this way. And let me pop my map real quick. Um, I have a certain spot. I think I think I want to go over here. Let's go over here. See if we can find some fortune tellers over here. 
right now, it's kind of tragic. Oh, there we go. Already one fortune teller. I see one right here. I see one, but that that person's gonna get him. No. Okay. Well. Well, this is definitely the area I want to be. I guess we'll just slaughter some Foggins until... I like that you can do that uh, slam out of the Nimbus stride. It has some speed to move from mob to mob, kind of added to it with that ability. Because without it, it's kind of... It's kind of an iffy... It's an iffy usefulness in combat, but with that ability to slam, it kind of adds a higher... What's that person doing? Alright, game. Okay, can I have my one fortune teller? Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's that. Slaughter these Foggins before I call the Black Spirit. Okay. Calling the Black Spirit. I think this is enough. No? By the way, I can't even tell if this is making a dent in their numbers. Oh, now it's time for Boss Prince Tidium. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, we will take on Boss Prince Tidium, or Fogan Prince Tidium. That'll be the next episode. I'm going to sit here and farm this for just a hot minute before I go fight uh, Prince Tidium. Might not be the same, like, day, but the next episode will probably be, like, level 28. Because I'm going to hit 27 here just doing the outro. There's 27. But yeah, so I'm going to go turn this other quest back in as well and get that completed. And uh, in the next episode, we'll start with uh, Folk and Prince Tidium. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the lawn, the lawn edited playthrough. Catch you guys then. Peace!